Hello everyone and welcome to game number three of Cliffy's Champions League. Today we're heading to Australia to the MCG in fact to see Kaz Lawler's fine legs taking on Bobby G Gaming's The Leading Edge and uh, it does seem to be a cracker here. A lot of batting power it must be said for the leading edge so it'll be very interesting to see how they do go especially on a grassy hard pitch with a little bit of overcast conditions so we could see some swing very early on here Kaz has got the coin Bobby has the call he has picked heads and heads is correct and the leading edge they are going to have a bowl first Alright, so here we go. We've got James Barton, who is going to be facing the first delivery for fine legs in this season of CCL. It's going to be Bailey McKenzie opening the bowling for the leading edge, and it is Sid Kumar down the other end. I think a guy who has been in all four editions now of Cliffy's Champions League, so he is a journeyman, it must be said. And this one here from Barton, oh my god, we're going to get a wicket first up. It's been skied, and it has been taken. Would you believe it? We have been going on about how much of a batter's competition this is, and Barton, uh, sorry, not Barton, uh, McKenzie has basically gone and said, stuff that, Jack Vanderberg takes the catch, and after one delivery, fine legs, one down with no runs on the board. Oh, and this one here has been pulled away. It's up over the top of that fielder, though, and it is going to race away for four. So Kumar not making the same mistake that his opening partner, Barton, does. And he gets this one up and over the top of the fielder. Still not that convincing. It didn't clear them by a whole lot, but it is four nonetheless. Oh, and this one here is a little bit of a top edge, you must say, but it does seem to be... Fairly short here today, straight down the ground, back past the, well, back past the bowler at the non-striker's end. There is another six. Kuma moves on to ten off of just two deliveries. Oh, and this one here has been edged up over the slips. KJ Dale with his first ball, and Sid Kumar is carrying on his impressive scoring rate. It must be said, he's now 15 off of just four deliveries. Oh, big thick outside hedge here from Kumar. Doesn't matter to him, though. He is just dealing in boundaries at the moment, this bloke. He's moved on to 20 in very quick time. Oh, and it was a no ball. It was a no ball as well, front foot. So this is a free hit. And as you would expect, this is, well, it's actually not going to go the distance. It's out court, but it's a free hit, so you can't be out. Oh, and this one here is another one that has just been guided down to that third man region. Another boundary for Sid Kumar. He's moved on to 25 off of just 8 deliveries and he is striking at over 300 here. Oh, and this one here has been chopped away. Not cut, chopped like a tree down to third man. Four more. Philippe gets his first boundary. Oh, this one here has been absolutely monstered over cover. It's gone for an 86 meter, 86 meter six. There we go. We got it done in the end. Right, so we just had a uh, another no ball. So that is KJ Dale's second one. And Kuma, we looking. Oh, God, it just gets worse for the left arm medium pacer. He's chucked in a wide. So this is still going to be a free hit. Remember, last time around, Kumar did manage to sky it, did only get the single, so he'll be looking to take full advantage of this one if he gets a chance, and that is exactly what has happened. Another six over cover. I think that's the second one of the over, and the 50s come up for fine legs already. There's a 50 partnership. It's come in just four overs. Oh, what a shot this is down the ground. That is going to move Kumar on a 45 off of just 17 deliveries. And he's eyeing his first 50 here of CCL 04. Oh, and how has that happened? It's not going to matter because it's the runs that do count. The umpires raises their fingers for six being signalled. There is the 50 for Kumar coming off just 19 deliveries. Same speed that Sonora Ryan did it for KKR in that opening game for them 
in the IPL, but just take a look at that. How has he managed that? Everything he has hit today has turned to gold, and it has gone for the maximum amount of runs. 11 coming off the over already. There is still two balls left to go, and I think that was the third six of the innings for Kumar, and he's going to follow it up with a four as well. So things go from bad to worse for the leading edge at the moment, but Kumar won't mind. He is absolutely smashing it. Oh, this one has gone up. I'm pretty sure it's gone high and far enough. In fact, it has. Pretty good over so far from Dean. Has just gone for the seven runs off of those first four balls. And he did have that potential catch off the first one. Oh, this one here has been monstered. That's the objective I'm looking for. It has been monstered away on the leg side. Six more to Kumar. I think it is six. Number six for him in the innings, and he's moved on to 67. Oh, and this one here straight on to the legs. Kumar's going to help himself again. I believe that is six, number seven for him now, and he is absolutely smashing it to all parts. He's moved into the 70s here. Oh, this one here has been hooked away by Philippek. He hasn't had a whole lot of the strike. But he's done the job that is required, picked off the bad ball, and he's just been rotating the strike to the red-hot Kumar. Oh, and he's bowled him! Straight through him. Filipek was struggling just a tad here today, and KJ Dale hasn't had the greatest of games with the ball, but this will bring it back quite nicely for the leading edge, as we've seen the leg stump just cartwheel out of the ground. It's beaten him all ends up. And see you later, buddy, on your bike. Oh, this one here, Shaman. I believe that is his first boundary that he has hit. And it's 100 meter six. It's a biggie. And uh, the fine legs are going to need a few more of those because the momentum is starting to shift back towards the leading edge. Oh, and this one here has been picked off. Kumar has been starved a little bit of the strike lately, but he's just... Maximized there with a 99 meter six, moves himself on to 88 runs. Oh, and this one here straight onto the pads of Shaman, and he is looking to go and get a move on here now. That's back to back sixes for him, and uh, he has now moved on to 18. He's starting to get a move along here. Oh, I think we've. What has happened here? What has happened here? I think we've seen a run out. I wasn't even watching, to be fair. I just saw the single down at the ground. But Kumar is gone, and the dreaded ton curse seems to continue. I have no idea what happened here. It was chucked in by the fielder, and, oh, were they just late taking off, or what was the story? But he was nowhere, well, I was going to say he was in frame, and he was a little bit unlucky that, uh... Bobby was a bit hesitant getting it off there, but you can clearly see that he's out. So Kumar is gone, and that is the third wicket down for the fine legs. We see Chowdhury come in now, and uh, he'll be looking to carry on from where Kumar left off. Sharma's got a big job here now as well after running out that guy in the 90s. You'd have to think that he's going to be the guy that needs to go now if they're going to get up towards this 200 to, uh, to 210 score. Ooh, 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 that is nice. What a way to get off the mark. Slightly on the pads. And Chowdhury says, yes, boy, I will have me some of that. That is a huge six over mid-wicket to get yourself off the mark. Oh, he's gone again, this time over fine leg. It's not going to matter, Fielder. There's no point you running, bud. That one has gone for another 100 metres. And possibly Kumar getting out wasn't the worst thing for the fine legs here because Chadri's come in and he is absolutely tonking it to all parts. Oh, but now he's gone straight through him. He's going for six, number three in the row. And uh, Bobby G Gaming has just wiped him out. Straight through him, to be fair, and leg stump once again for the second time today has gone cartwheeling out of the ground. And it is going to see fine legs four down now. There's still a lot of cricket left to be played, though. 
Oh, and this one here has just been chipped by Shaman onto the leg side through mid wicket, and it's gone for four. And once again, clipped away on the leg side. Shaman won't mind this. It's pretty risk free, and it's bringing in runs. Oh, this one here has been picked up over the offside this time by Shaman, and it's hit into those advertising triangles on the full. That means it's going to be six, and he's moved into the 40s. Oh, this one here has been whipped away on the leg side. We seem to be stuck in the middle of a storm in the commentary box here today. That is the hail that you can hear in the background. It doesn't matter to McIntosh. It doesn't matter here at the MCG. It is fine, and he has picked himself up his first six. Oh, how has he done that, Shaman? It's not going to matter to him, though. He's picked up another four. He's on 45. He is closing in on that 50. Oh, and he might get it here. He might bring it up with the single shot he has over fine leg. 95 metres, and that is going to move Shaman on to 51 off of just 27 deliveries. Three fours, four sixes with a strike rate of 100. We'll round it up to 189 for you, Lewis. Why not? And this, I think, is real make or break time because the uh, leading edge have used all four of their frontline bowlers. So they're going to have to get four overs out of part timers here. And we've already seen with Voice bowling this first over of the last four, he's gone for 18. And this could change the momentum quite substantially in the game. Oh, this has gone up. It's gone high. And it's gone long enough. Yes, 87 metres. Thank you for coming. As we said, Shaman is going to look to try and cash in here on the part-timers that are bowling. And he's got off to the perfect start. Oh, and have six more potentially. Yes, that one's gone. Cleared third man. That is back-to-back -back sixes now for Shaman. And he's moved into the 60s. Oh, he's gone up. He's gone high. I don't know. Oh, I say that all the time. I don't know if it's gone far enough. It's gone 72 metres. Of course it has. Sharma now moves into the 70s. And the 200 has come up for the fine legs. Oh, this one here is cut away. There's no one there at that vacant third man region. Moving on to 75 now. There is nine balls left to go. So the ton is still alive here for Sharman. Oh, and this one here has been whipped away up over mid-wicket by McIntosh. Finally getting that strike rate back up above 100. That's what we'd like to see here, boys. Big sixes, 212. And you think they'll be aiming for around 220, 225 here. Oh, and Shaman has gone big here once again. The dream of the ton is going to elude him. Unless there is a no ball that is thrown in there somewhere. He's moved on to 81. He needs 19 off of three balls, which is technically impossible. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to stop him trying, though. He's gone again. Another maximum 78 metres this time. Oh, and he's whipped this one here. It's just going to be four, but that's going to tie him with the top score for the fine legs here today. They've blown past that 220, that 225. They're on 229 with a ball to go. Shaman could possibly, I think 96 is the top score by Jamie Taylor in game one. But uh, it's going to finish pretty anticlimactically with a dot ball. So 230 is going to be the chase here for leading edge. They do have a strong batting lineup, so you wouldn't bet against them being able to chase down this big total. All right, and it's going to be the captain, Bobby G., and Ben Voice, who bowled those last couple of overs, coming out here to bat first. It's going to be Alan Hale, the wrist spinner, that is going to be opening things up here for the fine league. So that is very interesting to see how that there is going to work. We'll play out this first ball, and uh, it's one that is tossed up. And as you'd expect, it's whipped away by Bobby, and he's going to get off the mark with the boundary. Oh, this one here has been squirted away through points. It's going to be four more. Bobby's looking good here, and this is what the leading edge need to do. They need to go at about 11 runs per over. Oh, this one here has gone up and over, cover by voice. He's going to get off the mark with a six as well. It's gone 76 metres, and the leading edge will be loving the start. 
Oh, and this one here has been cut away by Bobby. More guided down to third man, you would say. It doesn't matter, though. The end result's the same. It's still a four. Oh, it's slow, and he's had to wait on it there, Voice, but he's done a good job. Only 67.7 kilometers per hour, so very slow, but it's been hit up over the top of that cow point region for four. Oh, this one here has been tossed up. He's met it on the four. It's a full toss. It's gone that same area. It's the same result. It's four more. This one here has worked away. It's on the pads. It's on the hips. It's flicked around the corner. And it's going to be four. Need a few more of those. That required run rate is sneaking up to a round two a ball. Oh, this one's gone gun barrel straight. It's gone down. It wasn't timed perfectly from voice, but he has done enough to get himself another four, and he is moving along nicely here. Oh, and this one here is gone the distance from voice. He played out two dot balls before that, but you ain't stopping this man when he's in this kind of form. Oh, and this time he's gone again. That's straight. It's a full toss, and he has helped himself to it. Hasn't been the greatest of first overs here from Lawler. I think he's chucked up three full tosses in the first four balls, and that is going to be the 50 partnership too for the leading edge, coming off just 28 deliveries. Oh, and this one here has been... I don't even know what you'd call that, to be fair. Hit away to the uh, third man region. It's going to be another four. 14 coming off of Kaz's first over. After five, the leading edge are none for 55. Oh, and that will help the cause as well. Bobby has been starved of the strike a little bit lately, but he has gone and helped himself to four runs there. Oh, and this time he's gone up over the leg side. That one is going to be a maximum. It's going to go all the way, and this is an expensive start from Hayes. He's gone for 10 off just his first two deliveries. Oh, he's bowled him straight through, and voice misses out on the half century. Going for a big heave-ho, what looked like down the ground. It will just take a quick look here on the replay. Just a little bit late on it and completely missed it, to be fair. And it looks as though, I think it's, oh no, there we go. Middle and leg that have come cartwheeling out of the ground. So that is a huge wicket, a huge loss for the leading edge. But fine legs, they needed that to get themselves back in the game. Oh, and this one here has been whipped away by Bobby G, and he is going to need to play a real captain's knock here to get his side home. 112 metre six, I think that is the biggest we have seen in the tournament so far, and they're going to need a few more of those. Oh, this one here is pulled away by Vandenberg. That's going to be his first four of the tournament for Big Shares, and he's moved on to six off of five. Oh, he's got him! He has got him. Vandenberg playing a big expansive drive. It has found the outside edge. And Kaz has got his first wicket of the tournament. And you have to say it is, it's not much needed for fine legs at the moment. Because they are in control of this game. But they will take that. Brings a new man into the crease. And uh, the leading edge are now two down with only about 100 on the board. Oh, this one here has been whipped away by Bobby G. It's going to be six over mid-wicket. That's going to be the 50 for the leading edge captain as well. It's been a decent knock from him coming off of 34 deliveries with five fours, three sixes, but he needs to kick on here. This one here has gone up and over cover by Holloway. He is starting to get a move on here, and it's what the leading edge need. He's now moved on to 11 off of just three, and we need 105 off of the last 44 deliveries here. This one here has been squirted away up and over cover. The required run right now is above 16, so boundaries are needed here for the leading edge. That will help. There's another one, but add two more on. It's six. It's a maximum. It's gone 90 meters. Oh, and this one here has been cut. It's been cut well. It's gone for a six. 75 meters, and this is exactly what's needed. 17 off the over so far with one ball left to go. Oh, and that is going to help the cause too. Bobby G starting to get a move on here. 
Third six of the over. And if my mass is correct, 23 coming from it. Few more of those, please, you Leading Edge fans. Oh, there we go. Bobby with another big maximum. He is starting to hit them well towards this back end of the innings. And he's going to need a few more of those to see his side home. Oh, this one here has been hit up over the top of cover. It's probably going to have enough to go for four as well. Holloway probably understands that it can't just be all one man. It can't just be his captain getting the job done here. He's going to have to pitch in with a few boundaries. Oh, that will do. That is needed. The required run rate is up to 19 and over now. And Bobby G somehow gets that one away. But they're going to need a few more of those. You'd have to think that they need at least three boundaries and over here. Oh, and this is big. This is huge. This is going to move them into the 90s as well. Is this the over that they get the big one? That they make it easier in those last two? Will Bobby Gaming... Break the curse and get the first ton of CCL04. Oh, he's gone big again. He's gone high. You'd have to think he's gone long enough too. You betcha. 85 meters. That is back to back to back sixes. And Bobby G moves on to 96. He's just one hit away here, boys. Oh, and there it is. It's come up in the weirdest possible fashion. You couldn't think of anything more weird than that there, but it doesn't matter. Bobby will take it. The leading edge will take it. And there is the first ton of CCL04, four, uh, seven fours, sorry, and nine sixes. And we'll just take a quick look here on the replay. Looked like possibly a bit of a top edge. He was trying to guide it, I think, down to third man, but instead has gone up over the keeper. 22 off the over so far. There is still two balls left to go. And Hazes, Dan Hazes, what have you done here, son? You just needed a decent over. He hasn't been able to contribute that. And he's probably going to go for four more here. Oh, my goodness. 26 off it. One ball to come. Oh, this one here has gone up. He's challenged the fielder, but he's beat the fielder. There's another six. I think that's six number 10 for today for Bobby. They need 31 off of the last two overs, and that has brought up the 100 partnership as well, coming off just 43 deliveries, and what a crucial time to have that. Oh, big hoit this to the leg side. It's not going to matter. It's going to get to the boundary, and that was needed after the back-to-back -back dot balls. 10 coming from it, and I think there's 21 left to get off of the last eight. Oh, this one here is cut away. That's going to be four more. That is very much needed. 17 off of seven now. All right, so 17 off of six is the equation. The captain is going to bowl it here, Kaz. He's been going at 11s today. He will take that right now at the moment. That will be good. It's a good start. It is a single, but Halloway is just doing probably the right thing here. Giving the strike back to the guy who is in form, the guy who's hitting them well in the form of his captain. 16 off of 5. Three boundaries, you'd have to think. And that one there, bit of an edge. And uh, I guess it is fitting because the team name is the leading edge. But just the one off it. So four t uh, sorry, 15 now required off of 4. And you'd have to think that this ball needs to go for a boundary. Otherwise, it's going to be tough pickings. And it hasn't. It has been just the single. And what an over this has been from Kaz so far. Just three coming from it. 14 required. So it is essentially all boundaries here. We need a six, a four, and a four minimum. So if this doesn't go for a boundary, we could be in for a miraculous recovery from the fine legs. And I think that is what has happened. 12 for a super over. 13 for the win. Unless there's a no ball or a wide here, make sure you keep that foot behind that line. Once again, it's a single. What are the leading edge batsmen doing? What are they doing? They have pushed away. They haven't even tried to play any aggressive shots in this last over. And 12 now needed off the last ball. The game is in the bag for fine legs. But what a game we have once again seen here, ladies and gentlemen. We have had three games of CCL04 and already we have had three absolute crackers 
of games that have been absolute run fest. The leading edge finish two for 222. That's a lot of twos in there. Richie Benno would be proud. But at the end of the day, they fall, I believe, eight runs short. Fine legs win it by seven. You wouldn't have thought it. To be fair, you wouldn't have thought that the leading edge could have won. They needed 100 runs off of the last six overs, but they managed to do a fairly decent job. Even in the loss, the player of the match has to go to Bobby G. 125 not out off of 64 deliveries, almost single-handedly bringing his team to the brink of victory. The first ton of CCL04 as well, and Jesus Christ, I've just dropped me controller. Lucky it didn't go and get rid of the scorecard. Sharman with 91 not out off of 41. Sid Kumar 91 as well. He was unlucky, run out for 91. And uh, Bobby did also pick up that one wicket, one for 37. He was the best bowler in the game too. So once again, we have seen a huge score that has been put on the board. This time it has been defended, but some very good contributions and a very good partnership, it must be said, between Kumar uh, and Sharman there towards the end. Dean the most economical bowler, but McKenzie with that wicket first ball after that, it didn't really get a whole lot better for him, to be fair. Bobby, he had a good partnership with Voice. They started off well and then finished off with Holloway. They did get the 100 run partnership, but they were not able to get themselves home. And it is a little bit disappointing as well, because looking at that batting side that they do have the leading edge, you thought they would have gone a little bit harder a little bit earlier because they did have the gas in the tank. Philippeck didn't pick up a wicket, but he was very good, very economical, only going for 8.25 off of his four overs. And Caleb Lawler, the captain, holding his nerve at the end, only going for eight runs to see his side grab themselves two points in this first game for them in CCL04. Do hope you've enjoyed it guys. If you have, remember to leave a like, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, let me know in the comments how your player went in this game as well. It's real. It's very interesting to see uh, what you guys are thinking of this series. Uh, but I'm going to wrap things up here. Thanks for watching and until next time, ka kite anoa. See you soon.